Hey guys, and welcome back. Today we have an absolute banger because Roblox released a Blender plugin. Now, if you guys are confused, I was too at first, but check this out. Bloxy News tweeted out, Roblox has created an open source reference integration for Blender. Let's just watch this video real quick, okay? I don't know if you guys can see the whole screen or not, but as you can see, they got their model in Roblox and they just edited it in Blender and it automatically updates in Studio. That's absolutely insane and I'm gonna show you guys how to install and use it in this video right here. First things first, you're gonna wanna go to this link which I'll have down below in the description and then you're gonna click this green button that says code and then this button that says download zip. Once you got that done, you're gonna open up Blender, go up to edit, preferences, add-ons and then you're going to click the install button here then in your files you'll go to downloads and you can type in your search bar roblox and right here guys roblox blender plugin make sure you have the zip file not the unzipped one so click the zip file and then click install add-on I've already done that, so I'm not gonna click it again. Now you will see it pop up and you need to make sure that you check this little check mark box and then you'll have the plugin. <laughs> then you're gonna press N on your keyboard to open up this sidebar right here and click on the Roblox one. And right here, you need to click login. Uh, mine says logging in because I already clicked it. And then I closed out of it to do this video. But here we go, logging in. It's gonna pop up straight to your account page and just click continue. Hopefully this has no personal information, but right here, you wanna give this permissions. So obviously to my account, yes. And then I'm gonna also select the groups that I still work in. Little Big Studios and My Bike Life. Now right here, Roblox does warn us, uh, permissions, upload assets to your account, this is a moderate risk level, and then all the other risk levels are low. But as far as I'm aware, this was made by Roblox. If we go to the dev form post, which I will also link down below in the description, uh, it's made by Roblox staff. So I have no reason not to trust this plugin. However, if you are still sketchy about it, maybe wait a couple weeks and see if anyone had a bad um, thing, a bad interaction. However, we're gonna go ahead and click continue. And then right here, it's gonna say Blender, upload to Roblox requesting access. And we're gonna confirm and give access. There we go. You can now close this window and let's head back to Blender. So check this out right here in our window. If this did go away, just press N on the keyboard again. We can select where we want this to go. So let's go ahead, just select my name, and let's go make a new place on Studio. All right, guys, so we have our cube and we have our plugin. Let's go ahead and just try just the cube. We're gonna rename this cube test. And now that we have a cube test, right here is our selected objects, and we're gonna go ahead and click upload. Right here, it says uploading, which takes just a couple seconds, but now it has switched to uploaded. Now we're gonna go over to Studio, go to the toolbox, and then click on My Packages in this drop-down menu. Then we have right here, this is the cube test that we just did. And if we go into this model, we'll see uh, a, an object called Package Linked. We're gonna click on that and go to Auto Update. Now check this out, guys. I'm gonna make Studio take up half of the screen and Blender take the other half. Now, if I go ahead and edit this, let's just make like, I don't know, a, a weird block snowman type guy. So we have a snowman now in Blender and the cube and Roblox. But check this out, if we just click upload again, watch what happens. As you can see, by me not doing anything in Studio, just from Blender, I'm able to update meshes. Now this will be very, very cool if we make, let's say a tree and we weren't happy with that tree or we noticed our texture was wrong or literally anything, but we've already placed them all. We could just update it in Blender. Let's go ahead and give this snowman some weird little arms. Just like this, cause why not? And hey, we might as well give him a little top hat as well. A very <laughs> little top hat, something like that. And then if we click upload, as you can see, Roblox does all the work for you. This is a huge time saver. And I think it's gonna be very cool to see how people use this in the future. I think it's a really cool feature and really cool to see that Roblox is expanding and sort of supporting the idea of using outside applications to make our experiences better. Anyways, that is gonna wrap it up for today. If you did enjoy and you wanna see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, later.